Our visual system has two forms of attention and focus. One is overt focus, which is very straightforward. If I'm looking at the tip of my pen, that's overt focus. I'm focusing on it with my eyes. And of course, the rest of my brain then will follow and start to analyze the details of what I'm seeing, the contours of the pen, et cetera. The key principle here is that much of our cognitive focus, our ability to think about something in a very specific way and stay focused on it, to read or to follow a line of conversation or math or music, et cetera, is going to be directed by our visual system. So when you hear this, it sounds obvious, but for many people, including many scientists, it's just not obvious that this would be the case. However, that is the case. Our cognitive focus tends to follow our overt visual focus. That's also why they put blinders on horses. That's also why sometimes wearing a hoodie or a hat or limiting your visual field in some way can help you enhance your cognitive focus. It can help limit distraction. You're just not seeing as much. It's also why when we ingest caffeine or any kind of stimulant or we are stressed and our pupils dilate and our vision becomes more tunnel-like, less panoramic, but more tunnel-like, you're looking through a tunnel, your focus, your visual focus is actually driving your cognitive focus. Your cognitive focus is narrower than it would be if you were seeing the whole scene that you're in. For those of you curious about the underlying biology, this practice is recruiting certain elements of your so-called prefrontal cortex, also the frontal eye fields, which are locations not far from the prefrontal cortex that are involved in deliberately directing your gaze to particular locations in space, not outer space, although you could do this by focusing on stars, I suppose, but in visual space. Now, I mentioned before that this is overt visual focus and attention. You, you are overtly looking at that location.